Hi everyone and welcome back to Style Novice. Many of you have been requesting another makeup bag sewing tutorial, something a little more challenging than the last, more professionally finished and with hidden seams to boot, so here it is. This pattern involves both machine and hand sewing. Now if you're looking for something a bit more basic, be sure to check out my first beginner makeup bag tutorial or be sure to check out my step-by-step -step sewing playlist for more easy to follow projects. So let's get into the materials needed. You're going to need three pieces of patterned cotton fabric. Colour A will be your interior piece, colour B will be your exterior piece and both fabrics will require a minimum amount of 30cm by 20cm. Colour C will be your binding fabric, you're going to need two pieces of 43cm by 5cm cut on the bias and another two pieces of 8cm by 7cm. You'll also need one piece of Dacron lining 30cm by 20cm, a zip to either match or contrast your binding colour of a minimum size of 35cm which is 14 inches some paper to create your pattern on, a pen, now a bread plate, this makes the perfect 8 inch diameter template to draw the circles that we're going to use to create our pattern but you could also use a compass, some fabric scissors, sewing machine, sewing pins, a hand sewing needle, cotton and bobbin to match the fabrics that you're going to be using and an iron. Now as always if you're needing to go back and refer to any of these measurements the written and step by step instructions will be available to view on my blog site by following the attached links. So let's get into sewing, the first step is to create our pattern. On a piece of paper an A4 size is fine at this point, grab your bread plate or a compass and create a circle close to the edges with a diameter of 8 inches or 20 centimetres and cut. Next mark out the central cross of the circle. You can do this by folding the circle in half and in half again following the folds with your pen. Next on a larger piece of paper, and scrapbooking paper makes the perfect size for this, trace around your template as close to the top edge as possible. With your template still in place, continue the lines of the cross onto the new circle and rule the lines as before, continuing the vertical line to the bottom of the scrapbooking page. Next place your template cut out onto your scrapbooking paper once again, aligning the top edge of the template with the middle line of your previous circle and the line that continues to the bottom of the page. With both circles drawn, draw a straight line to join the edges of the overlapping circles. And to cut out your pattern, cut along the rounded ends and the straight edges of the circles to form your makeup bag pattern. Next it's on to cutting your fabric. Pin your pattern onto your interior, exterior and lining fabrics and cut to shape. Remember that if your fabric has a pattern that needs to sit in a certain direction, allow for this in the direction that you pin your pattern onto the fabric. Take your interior fabric and lay this good side down on the table. Lay on your lining fabric and take your exterior fabric and lay this good side up on the two below fabrics and pin all three together. Take your binding fabric and cut on the bias, this means to cut on the diagonal. You're cutting two pieces 17 inches by 2 inches. What you now want to do is iron these pieces flat. And we're on to sewing the binding. Before pinning on the binding you want to make a pin marker at the middle point of each straight edge of your oval shape, good side which is the exterior side facing up. Take one piece of your binding fabric and pin to the central point. Continue pinning around the outer edge of the oval, good side down. The outer edge of the binding should align with the outer edge of your oval and the inner edge of the binding will bunch slightly to conform to the round shape. Once you get to the central marker on either side you can now trim any excess. Do this to the other side also and machine sew around the outer edge using your machine footer as a seam width guide. At the end you'll have what looks slightly like a bowl. 
Flip your oval over to the interior side and fold the edge of the binding over to this side. Next, fold the raw edge of the binding into the side of your oval shape, fold over and pin in place. Find a few moments to yourself and hand sew this binding to your interior fabric, sewing only through the top layer so it can't be seen from the outside of the bag. Now on to attaching the zipper, keep the marker pins in place on the sides of your oval and now also find the centre half of your zipper when closed and make a pin mark also. Now find the centre top of your oval on each end and mark these too. With the interior side of your oval shape facing up now, pin the centre of the zipper good side down onto the binding with the other half of the zipper hanging over the edge. Starting from the centre, pin your way down to the marker pins on each side. When you find another spare moment to yourself, grab yourself a cuppa in front of the tally and hand stitch your zip onto the binding behind again, only sewing through the one layer of the fabric and not through to the outer layer. Next, fold your bag in half as if it were the final product, pin the zipper in place how it best sits and matches the other side, and start at the centre again and work your way down each side pinning in place. From here, unzip the zipper and hand stitch the remaining side. What you should have now is a taco looking shape that sits nice and flat when the zipper is closed. To create the corners of the bag, undo the zip and turn inside out. Pinch the sides in so one end of the zip is now sitting at the centre mark and your binding aligns on both sides. Measure 4 cm or 1.5 inches up from the point and roll across the entire corner. Do this on each side and sew across this line. Trim the excess fabric off each side, leaving around 1 cm to the edge. We're going to be creating a hidden seam so the raw edges don't show through on the inside of your bag. So with the small rectangles of the binding fabric you will have cut earlier, on each short end of these rectangles iron a half a centimetre seam. Next iron in half lengthways. Bring each long edge of the fabric into the centre line and press to set the shape. Fold these over the exposed edges of the corners and pin to secure. Neatly hand sew this edging onto the makeup bag on both the front and underside of the raw edges. You'll now have no raw edges showing on the inside of your makeup bag. And just a couple of final finishing touches. Turn the makeup bag the right way out and your seam should sit snugly at the bottom of your bag. Now I really like that this bag opens all the way down each side but if you're wanting to make the opening slightly smaller or you're worried about products wandering away when your bag is opening, simply press the binding edges together and neatly hand sew as far up the bag as you wish and this will act as a stopper for your zip. And there you have it, a fully lined and padded makeup bag with a professional finish and hidden seams to boot. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and I hope you'll stick around to check out my other easy sewing projects. As always, the written and step-by-step -step instructions can be found on my blog by following the attached links. Happy sewing!